Hey everybody, Jason here. It's Saturday morning. I'm at the workbench. I'm still wearing the same clothes I wore yesterday. Today I am working on an iPhone. No, wait, this is not an iPhone. This is a Galaxy S6 Active. This phone was sent here for data recovery with a description of it just will not power on. And I'm going to show you what it is that I did with this thing. The very first thing I did was hooked it up to a charger. It draws about 400 milliamps of current. The next thing I did was disconnected the battery and then hooked it up to a charger again and it draws 300 milliamps of current. So even with the phone powered off, the battery disconnected, this phone is still drawing 300 milliamps of current. So then we have a look at it with the thermal camera and as you will see whenever we connect a charger to it, there is one area of the board that is getting hot. So here we are looking at this phone and I am curious to see what this is going to be. So let's go ahead and unhook some stuff here. Um, so the hot spot is pretty much, you know, it kind of looks like it's a CPU. This thing might have a CPU shorted, I don't know. Um, but in looking under this shield right here, there doesn't, doesn't look to be a whole lot of things that it could be. So I'm going to get onto the bottom of the board and I should also make very clear that I have not worked on a Galaxy S6 Active for several years. And I was thrilled that this one arrived without the screen factory attached to it. All right, so just a few cables to unhook here. Hopefully I don't do anything really stupid. Is it loose? Hmm, feels loose. Ooh, baby. Gotta wiggle it around a little bit like that. Okay. Make sure we're not gonna tear any cables. What is on the bottom of the board in that spot? See, this is where our heat was. And if we flip the board over, we've got a spot here. I'm thinking since we have 300 milliamps of USB current, even without a battery hooked up, something has to be like shorted. That's like way too much current for not actually charging the battery. So let's have a look at this board under the microscope. And let's look up here at that spot. So here is, here's the area where we've seen the heat. And I guess there is some stuff going on under that shield. We'll pull it off and look at it as well. But I think I am primarily concerned maybe about this area on the bottom because, well, I'm just sort of in denial. I don't want to find out this phone has a CPU problem. I know everybody is waiting for my uh, next CPU video, and I am too. I've got that. Uh, I've set that aside. I've been reading your comments. And... I will be continuing the next part of that project ASAP. Should be early, early this coming week, like Tuesday-ish. Come on, mofo. There we go. All right, now we do have some stuff under this side. Now, how are we going to hook up some USB charging current to this with the board out of it? Hmm, how are we going to do that? I should probably like get online and download the schematics. Wouldn't that be smart? Ah. All right, so here's our board. Here is our customer's housing because you know, I don't have a, I don't just have Galaxy S6 actives laying all over the shop. What can we do about this dock flex? Can we just take this out of here? Pretty sure we can, right? Mm-hmm. So let's take our dock flex out of there. Wait, charge port, we're not in an Apple world today. This is a Android world and this world, this is called a charge port, freaking dock flex. And let's see, how am I gonna not hook this up backwards? Whoop, little rubber O-ring. How am I gonna not hook this up backwards? That's how it goes, yeah? I'm gonna be extra specially careful today. So that would be just as if we took it out of the housing. All right, we're good here. There you go. We're going to flip this over. And now we're going to have another look at this with a thermal camera. Now this charger is a little bit wonky. Like I got to, I don't know if it's the port or my cable, but I got to kind of hold it at just the right angle. All right, so let's see what this is going to look like through a thermal camera. Let's try to get these lined up fairly okay. Okay, I'm going to say that's, that's fairly okay. Roll this back to about there. And here we go.
Oh, this camera refreshed. What's getting hot? Okay, here we go again. Hmm, kind of seems like everywhere there, right? All right, let's flip it back over and we're going to look at the top side again that has the CPU on it. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Sure does seem like a CPU short, right? Let's look back at the bottom side again. I don't see any specific components getting hot. Uh, hmm. Well, in this case, the heat's really spreading out quite a bit. This thermal camera is not doing me a whole lot of good. Let's look at it under the microscope. Uh, maybe consider freezing it, only the only freeze spray I have right now is this freaking air duster. And I don't know if you guys have ever got this in your mouth, but it is nasty. No, I'm not huffing it. Let's look at this under the microscope. And now I'm gonna feel around with my hands. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure that's the CPU getting hot. Yeah, that is most positively the CPU getting hot. Check the other side again. Hey, that's got my name on it. Hmm, this is interesting. I can't decide which side of the board is hotter. I think this is going to be a CPU short, guys. That CPU is slowly warming up. You know, I'm going to start poking around here in diode mode. Actually, we'll do, uh, I'm just going to put my meter in beep mode and see if we can get any beep action here. So I'm going to be putting my black probe on ground and I'm going to use my red probe to peck around here and just sort of look for general shorts, see if anything beeps. Wait a minute, this can't be right. Let's try that again. Okay, I'm suspecting that these are probably CPU lines in the 20-ish ohm range. You know, these are just some low volt lines. I don't think that's, that is probably not affecting us. I'm looking for like really, really low shorts. Anything that is like directly shorted. I mean, low resistances. That's what I'm looking for. Those lines are all together. I guess now would be a good time to tell you all that I don't know diddly squat about Samsung phones. If I really get stuck here, in a minute I'm going to try to open up the schematics. I think I've already got them. Dun, dun, dun. 15 ohms. Eh. You're not anything to worry about right now, are you? All right, we're going to freeze it. This product contains a bittering agent to help discourage inhalant abuse. This product contains a bittering agent that is fucking nasty. I'd go take a shower after this. We are currently drawing no charging current. We're going to freeze it. All right, here we go. And contact. There we go. This little IC right here is getting, this one on, down here, this got warm first. Let's watch that once more. Let's see if I can get it to freeze real good.
contact. Hang on. I suppose it sort of melted first. I want to see the CPU. Okay, here we go. Chargers connected. And that CPU just instantly starts melting. All right, let's have a look. I'm gonna check continuity on this wet board here. Let's check and see what's going on with these caps right next to this IC that seems to have gotten warm a little fast. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just do ohms mode. Oh, gosh, I'm choking on this stuff. It's in the hair, it's in the air. Like it's uh, it's an aerosol. It, you don't have to get the liquid on you. This is actually, this bittering agent is in the air. It's disgusting. Who in the hell huffs this stuff? All right, so I'm getting three ohms to ground on that side. Two hundred K on that side. I mean, that's not anything to worry about. What about this? What about this other line here? What's this one getting? So I'm getting two and a half ohms on that side, and then on this side we're getting sixteen megarini. That's definitely not a problem. One and a half ohms on this side. 900 big K's on this one. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything shorted here. But this does look like one of those little fucky power ICs that got shorted in the uh, earlier Galaxy phones. Alright. This stuff's really disgusting, man. Really, really disgusting. Let's blow this out of here. Guess who's going to order some freeze spray? Since I got my thermal camera, I just hardly ever use this stuff anymore. I get, I look at it once with the thermal camera, and then I use alcohol to fine point it. But in this case, so the heat's just like really spreading out. And I think it's the CPU that's getting warm first. Let us open up and see if I've got a schematic, shall we? All right, Paul. You got me a iPhone, wait, no, 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 no. You got me a Galaxy S6 Active Schematic. You better have this together. Let's see, I've got a G920F. What is this phone? Oh, it's a G890A. So a Galaxy S7. I got a Galaxy S6. Hmm, but I don't have the S6 Active. Hmm, that's a problem. Okay, well, in that case, let's go ahead and hook up the charger. And then I'm gonna check voltage at the battery terminal, which I'm betting is gonna be normal. The Samsung power rails, they are laid out a little bit different. I'm not just like a complete idiot, but I am a complete idiot for this model. All right, I'm, I'm just a complete idiot. I have worked on very few of these. All right, so we're gonna check voltage at the battery connector. And um, what are we getting for a voltage measurement here? 4.25. And zero. So this is going to be ground out here. This is going to be our battery terminal, 4.25. Um, this thing is actually capable of charging a battery. And let me show you one other thing it does. I will, uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to put it back into the housing. There we are. Okay, so here's what this thing does. With or without a charger hooked up to it. I'm gonna go ahead and do this with the charger. Yeah, to get this charger to make contact, this is probably my uh, micro USB. I gotta hold it to the side like that. And with the battery hooked up, I'm getting 0.48 amps of current. And without the battery hooked up, I was getting uh, 0.3. So 400 with, 300 without. But here's what happens when we push the power button. Holding, 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 holding. It lights up to a, I don't know if you'll be able to distinguish the color with my camera, but that is a purple light. It seems to sit there until the end of time and does not, it is not detected by a computer if I hook it up with USB. So um, 
All right, well guys, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this thing aside for now. I do welcome your comments below. I have fixed very few Samsung boards. Um, the ones I have fixed were really direct shorts that I could detect, um, ICs on Galaxy S3s from people plugging in their stupid fan attachments, and then also on uh, some Galaxy S5s, you know, shorted caps next to power management chips. Really straightforward stuff. This one really seems like it's the CPU getting hot. So let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you soon. Have a good day.